Yeah, that's a lot more activity than what I have been seeing. Got a lot of babies. Seems How tiny. can? Yeah, they're so tiny. Oh yeah. Tiny, tiny. So newly newer bees. Yeah. So, and they're they're irritated by these flies and stuff. <clears throat> so kind of huh. trying to keep them out by mistake or yeah. something. Okay. And rarely. Now, will these ants hurt? A few ants are okay. They're just going after the sugar water. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you just like, you know, you hear that pop? Yep. That's it. And I usually open this kind of away from myself. And oh, then yeah. I flip it over. Oh, see, and I think the last time we opened it, we didn't have all that stuff stuck to the lid. That's propolis. Yeah. Well. Yep. Down in here is cross comb. Oh, okay, cross comb. Okay. So usually they build like that when things aren't quite even. So that's something we're going to just want to keep an eye on. Okay. You know, make sure our level. Yes. Usually, and I'll have to you know, front keep a level the, in the truck. Front to back's not such a big deal, but it's side if you're swinging like that any. Okay. And they get stuck. You know? Okay. But, but usually uh, start with the outside frames to give yourself some space. Yeah. As you get towards the inside, they get, it gets much more compact and you're in more danger of rolling bees and okay. killing them. And, and there is a chance. There's any time you open this up, there's a chance you can roll the queen. Yeah. So, I was going to say, now, do you have to put them back in the same way? You should. You should. Okay. Yeah. Unless you have a reason to change it. Okay. Now, would it hurt if I had a pen and marked? No. One, two, three. That way I could keep them? A lot of people do that. Okay. Yeah. But either uh, people use um, just a regular... Okay. Now, why is that white? That Ooh. is capped honey. Oh, that's honey? Yeah. We could, we could take that and eat it if we wanted to. No, that's all right. But I want the, them to keep going. But we won't do that because this is their brood box. Yeah, okay. And they're also repairing this. Um, if you remember, we put, remember we pulled this out and was kind of tore apart? They're actually repairing the comb. I was going I was going to say it looks like it. They've done some work. Oh, look at this. So this is going to be a beautiful frame of honey at some point. This okay. whole thing. Now, you might see some, on this one, there's some very large fat bees. Uh-huh. Yeah, see them? I'm noticing that. Those are drones. Okay. No now pain. each bee has its own duty, right? They have, di yeah, different jobs through their lifetime. What we're looking at are, you know, these are, you know, they're, they're comb builders. They're, they're transferring, um, maybe like the foragers bring in pollen. Mm -hmm. They'll grab it, transfer it into here. Mm -hmm. uh, they're capping. This is not a brood frame. There's no babies in here, so this is not nurse bees. Okay. So these are just a little bit bigger bees. Yeah. If we, I bet you, the, and not maybe not that middle frame probably full of nurse bees, really tiny fuzzy bees. Those are pretty good size bees there. Yeah. Some drones. Yeah, there's a big one down there. Yeah. Now, like those drones, the males. Uh huh. They don't. They don't sting. Yeah. No, you can like grab them and put them in a little jar and take them to your grandchildren and they can oh, no. play with them. Oh, they might have on the next one. Big drones. See? YouTube. Let's see this next one. I think we're going to have to bring her a queen. I don't think she's on here. I don't see any eggs. <laughs> So this is why we it's good to have that second box over mm -hmm. here because uh -huh. then we can like say okay queen didn't work let's put some eggs in from one to the other you know yeah and, yeah darn it well shucks well the good news is we we caught it and we'll get that other hive over here what we'll do is we'll steal some eggs from that other one and we'll let them build a queen okay if i catch a swarm though another one You'll bring them I'm just going to bring them straight over. Okay. I don't know why, but they do seem a little calmer. <laughs> yes. Maybe they they're just happy because it's warm out and there's flowers. The clover's out now. In my yard, they're just all over on the clover. Here's a. Normally, at this stage, I would pull that entrance reducer out. Okay. Like they wouldn't need it because, you know, it's, it's foraging time. Right. But because they're actually in decline, Right. I'm going to keep it in so they can continue to defend themselves as their numbers drop. Okay. So give them, a, you know, less space to defend. Right. So it is kind of important that we make sure this thing stays in. Okay. 
Uh, but like you can see now, they can get to this from the inside. Yes. So that's defended, and then the only place that the enemy can come in is there. Yeah. And I actually do these little decorations on here on purpose to give them a little windbreak. Windbreak. Or, the, and that's what I thought. Yeah. That's the, so people are like, why you got that goofy stuff on there? Like, well, yeah. just you know. Okay. Trying to help them out. Okay. So. so then tomorrow I need to make sure that I bring out my level to le make sure that the hide is high hide is level and everything. Yeah. Just side to side is the main thing. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Overall, I'm actually like they look really good. We just need Other to get them. Other than I don't have a queen. We need to get them a queen. Uh, we, you know, we thought they'd make one. And they still might, w wouldn't they? No. No, there's no more eggs to make one with. Oh, okay. So they had two or three queens. Yeah, I remember. thought that they did. That yeah. one that I point to, that yeah. that was an emerged one. So sometimes queen goes out to mate, she never comes home. Huh. Now, if, if you bring another box out, mm -hmm. and there is a queen in there. Mm -hmm. Will that work here, or will a queen no. have to reap? You need a queen we could, actually for each hive. Yeah, the, um, different pheromone, uh -huh. so they can tell the difference. Okay. Um, you can combine them. What we would do is we'd put a sheet of newspaper across this, uh -huh. just like it is. Uh -huh. Poke a few just tiny holes in it. Uh -huh. Set the second hive on top of it. Okay. And it would have its entrance going that way. Uh -huh. So they come in different directions. And they'll chew through that newspaper. And by the time they chew through it, after a couple of days, they will be used to that new queen smell. Oh, okay. And they won't kill each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I but see. if I just set it on there, yeah, it'll, it'll be, it'll be a war. Okay. Oh. And then when you're putting this on, try to. Oh, that's dead. Uh -huh. Dead. Yeah. Thank you. I think she's dead. Thank you. <laughs> So what I do normally, you're, you know, it's almost impossible not to squish bees. Yeah. But um, what I try to do is just do a little kind of side to side, and to then I move gently, them one way or yeah, the other. Yeah, try to scoot them out. Oh, now look, just with you sitting out on the ground, all ants. those ants. Now, will they hurt? No, I don't think so. They, usually, bees are pretty good about cleaning up the inside. Uh -huh. It's probably what's happening is there's just, you know, you sure. can't help it as you yeah. load this. It drips. Yeah. You know, some comes out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a few ants are okay. Okay. If you have ants up in your honey, like all the frames we pulled, uh -huh. I didn't see any bugs or ants. Yeah. You know. Right. If I did, that would. Other die. than that spider. Yeah. And this one. Here's a cool looking spider too. Did you get stung? Does he need to be in there? What? Spider. Ooh. No. <laughs> go away, spider. There you go. All right. I'm sure Mama will come see you again soon. You're the Mama. 